Yo, what is going on guys, Expo here. We are back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to run multiple accounts inside of Roblox. So there's going to be two methods. The first method is going to be the one that I highly recommend you guys use. And the second one will be in case the first one does not work for you. Because I get asked all the time how to run multiple accounts. And I showed them the first one and they say it doesn't work. So we're going to be showing two methods in this video. Like I said, in case the first one does not work. So let's go ahead and hop into the first one and the one that I use and recommend you guys use. So off the bat, go to your browser and all of these links will be inside of the description or you can follow along with me. Either way you want to do it. Click Roblox account manager. Click releases. And go down here to Roblox account manager 3.3.zip. Gonna show a folder here, open the folder. And once the folder is open, like so, just minimize Chrome or whatever browser you are using. Click new and then click folder. Now you can name it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name it RAM, short for Roblox account manager. Highlight all of these right here. Click extract all. I'm going to pull this right here up. Click browse. Click desktop and click the folder that you just created. Like I said, the name does not matter and click extract. Now you can close these two out and you're going to open up RAM like so. Click right here. And then you get this right here, Windows protected your PC. Now a lot of people see this and they get very sketched out, but I can assure you that this is okay because this is how I run my accounts and nothing has happened to me. So this is okay. Just click more info and then click run anyway. It's gonna pop up an auto exe and it's going to start downloading and updating Roblox Account Manager. Then once this right here is finished, it's going to extract and it's going to say done. And then you're going to click the Roblox Alt Manager right here. And once you click it, you're going to get something that looks like this. So now, once we have this right here, you're going to click Add Account, like so. It's going to ask you to sign in to your Roblox account. So I'm gonna sign into my account right now. And we will sign into two of them. So here is the first one and then add another account. And like I said, you can put as many accounts on here as you want. Um, does not matter. This is why I prefer this one because you can just have like I said, as many as you want, and it's just a lot easier, in my opinion, to run, and it's just a lot more uh, clean and design, I guess you would say. So if I can remember my password, we can get this other one in. There we go. So now, once you have both of your accounts logged in, go ahead and go to Google, and whatever game you're going to play. So for example, me i'm going to go to roblox and i'm going to be showing for this video tapping legends x so you just go to the game you want to play click on the game and as you guys can see you have this link up here at the top roblox.com slash games and then you have this number and then whatever you're playing so copy this number just double double click in the center of the number right click and click copy now head back over to your accounts here. Now, if you're going to put multiple accounts on the same game, then you can highlight them both like this and you can do this. And the job ID is now tapping legends X. And now also what you want to do is go to servers, create a private server. Uh, just name it whatever you want to do. We'll just name it test and then customize. Go ahead and generate a link like so and then just click copy and allow joining make sure that is on now like i said while you have this highlighted like i said you just so hold in your shift key and click on both of them like that just click and then hold shift and click and go here paste and then click this little save icon to the right like so and with both of the accounts being highlighted like you see here just click join server Now, once, it, once you click join, it is going to start loading your account in, as you guys can see. 
here comes the first one and then in a second the second one will also start loading up as well but we are officially in with the first one and here's the second one and like i said you can do this with with as many accounts as you want that your pc can run you know uh without lagging or crashing and this is how you do the first method um so you're probably also wondering well now what do i do if i have my accounts am i going to get kicked for being afk but no need to fret what you're going to do is go to google chrome once again like i said this will be in the description so no worries go to gs auto clicker go to the first one right here now this right here is what you want so click on that and it's going to click pop up here click the green one just close of wind zip and just click the, give it a second it's going to pull up this right here make sure you click the one with the star click free download it's going to start downloading right here for you uh, you can allow this or you can just exit whatever you're going to do so now you guys can see that it is finished so go ahead and click it and open it and now what you're left with is something that looks like this and you can see both the accounts are still up they're clicking on both of them we can visibly see each other in the server you know and so now with gs auto clicker you're going to click options you're going to click clicking and go to options make sure the mouse is on left click is on doubled you do not want single you want double so click ok also make sure the you can set your hotkey to whatever you want your hotkey to be i'll use this as non you just click right here and then select whatever hotkey you want and you can also open up repeat make sure you have it repeat until i stop and you can set the milliseconds in roblox you get kicked every 20 minutes so it does not have to be this fast but if you want it this fast that is also fun so just put it whatever you want it on if it makes your game lag you know set it up to like 100 milliseconds or make it slower but for the purpose of this video we're going to make it one millisecond so click ok so once you have everything set up correctly as you want it click recording click multiple clicks you're gonna get something that pops up like this so go ahead and clear that's just because i've used this before so click pick point click on your account pick point click on your account click ok and now you're gonna click these whatever button you have set up here you can see my mouse goes back and forth like so it keeps clicking and it keeps your accounts active so like i said you can add as many accounts as you want and like i said if you add more all you have to do is click options recording multiple clicks and then just pick another point and let's make sure you click on the screen so just pick a point and you can do this as many times as you want you can put as many accounts on here as you want so that is how you do the first method like i said highly highly recommend this one over the one i'm going to show you now but with that being so let's go ahead and hop into that one let's close out of everything here you guys can see that did work Close all of this, all of this. Let's now go into Google. Go to Roblox, multiple instances right here. You're going to go to wearedevs.net. Click download multiple games. That's going to start right here. Just open it whenever it's finished. And once it finished, it's going to look like this right here. So close your browser because what this thing says, make sure you read this. Make sure you open this before Roblox. Each game instance must be loaded with a different logged in account. Closing this will force close all but one Roblox game instance and then credits to, you know, the, to the people that made it. So make sure you open this first before you ever get on Google to start opening Roblox. But now we're going to go ahead and log into Roblox. So go here. Here. Let's just look at the same game. Click play. Open. It's going to load and once while this is loading you can go ahead you guys can see that they're loaded so we're going to go ahead and sign out that's risk go ahead and log back in with our account we are using now like i said the only way i would ever recommend using this if you only run uh, two accounts that is the only way i would recommend that we're going to click play again you guys can see this account right here is up it's going to start loading this one in a second and this right here is up and just like this one 
make sure you don't close it and just like the other one that we were showing originally i'll pull this up one more time before we in the video like i said make sure you do not exit this because if you exit this one of your accounts will close and it will log you out and just like the first one we showed you set up your auto clicks to click on each screen to go back and forth to keep you guys active you guys can see that we are in we're not in the same lobby because we just clicked play we're not friends with each other on these accounts and that's why i like the other one because it makes private server joining so much easier and it's just a lot more simple and set up in my opinion so you guys can see this worked and like i said once again i'm going to remind you keep this up and do not close it open this first because if you close it you guys will see one of the accounts close and also when you are in this one let me go and pull this back up again really quickly make sure you never close this screen right here you can minimize it just do not close it because the same thing will happen like i showed in the last one so that's gonna be it for today's video hope this helped you guys and you guys can start running multiple accounts if you have any questions be sure to let me know in the comments i'll try to help as many of you guys as i can hope this helped and i hope this answered a lot of your your guys's questions that i get all the time asking how do i run accounts and what you do so uh, yeah that's me for today's video thank you guys so much for watching uh subscribe if you're new and drop a like and i will see you guys in the next one later